Okay, I got a question from I cannot remember. It's on my computer. It's an email and again, I can't remember the name, but basically I do remember that the question was recovery tips. She wants more recovery tips uh, to improve her training. She's finding she's always sore. The first thing we need to talk about is obviously your program. I mean, if you're smashing yourself every single session, day in, day out, you're gonna be sore and you're always gonna be sore. Um, it's, training is not always about smashing yourself. So I would suggest looking into some RKC program where we do a lot of heavy light medium stuff. So basically heavy light medium is, is when, let's just say you train three days a week, one day a week will be really, really hard. That's your heavy day. Uh, you got a, a, your second session is gonna be like a medium session. So it's like in between, it's like a, a comfortable stop sort of thing. And then the third session is really easy. I mean, you can do something like that. And if you wanna do train six days a week, you can do the same thing. So you can train, one day can be hard, two days can be medium, four days can be easy, something like that. But this waving of the load of intensity um, really, really allows you to train frequently um, without getting sore. I mean, training hard every single day is gonna catch up to you. Uh, what have we got? The second thing um, is introducing sled training into your... So I'm on like the busiest street. And I got this car here. The second thing you can do is introduce sled training into your programs. The best thing about sled training is that there's no eccentric stress. So for example, when you do a bicep curl, as you lower the weight with load, Lower, sorry, as you lower the weight, yeah, uh, you tear the bicep more, um, and therefore that's that soreness the next day. So if you do sled dragging, there's actually no eccentric stress. And Louis Simmons does this a lot. Louis Simmons gives his, all his clients a ton of sled dragging because it allows them to train so often without getting really, really sore the next day. Obviously a lot of other benefits to sled training, but that's one really good one. So introduce some sled training into your program. That's training. The third thing is extend your warm up. You'll find if you extend your warm up a little bit longer, maybe only probably warming up for five minutes, you may be doing some few arm swings or something. If you actually look into some like really decent warm ups, if you look into like primal move, any of these sort of things, great warm ups you can do, that, and extending your, your warm up to like 10 to 15 to 20 minutes, guaranteed that's gonna definitely gonna help the next day. Fourth thing you can do is stretch more. Hey, it's no biggie, but stretching used to be something that everyone used to do. Now it's not because marketers can't make money off it and therefore it's not important. I've spoken about this in other videos where Ian and King uh, point this out to me and, and so did Andrew Reid as well. Um, but basically stretching is the number one most underrated thing in the fitness industry, full stop, that's it. It's just because marketers can't make money off it. They've tried, but they're just, yeah, there's no billion dollar industry in it. So because they can't make money off it, stretching's not important, but it is. If you stretch more, I guarantee you'll be feeling a lot better. Uh, the fifth thing maybe, we've got foam rolling. So for me, myself, I foam roll before and after training. Um, a lot of people just do the foam rolling before. I find foam rolling just for five, 10 minutes after training helps a lot more. Um, the sixth thing I think we're up to is obviously nutrition. I mean, something's going on maybe with your nutrition. So look into that. It could be you're not having enough protein, you're not having the right carbs at the right time or enough. Um, it could be anything along that lines. You're not having enough water, you're not getting enough sleep, and another quick tip you can do is after you train, do a hot and cold shower for about five minutes. So 30 seconds hot, 30 seconds cold for about five minutes. You'll be feeling golden after that. So there's all my tips. Um, they're fairly random, but I wanted to just do this on the fly for you just so I can give it to you as real as possible. That's what's helped. Give them a go, give me a virtual pound, boom, and I'll speak to you soon.